Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest won a well-deserved Tony for her performance as Angelica Schuyler in Hamilton. She now stars in the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks. Please welcome Renee Elise Goldsberry. <laughs> It's for Elise, a little so Beethoven wonderful. for you there. Thank you very much. Well, they're very good. They are very good. Um, <laughs> speaking of very good, I mean, as I said, well deserved Tony for playing Angelica Schuyler in Thank Hamilton. You. Great performance. I said, uh, Lynn and other cast members who have been on here before, like, I, some, people must have said this to you. At the end of, of that show, you would just say to yourself, why am I crying about Alexander Hamilton again? <laughs> but you would. The, the show was such a tremendous gift, as was your performance. Well, but now, you. now that you've moved beyond it, what's post-Hamilton life like? Do you keep on waiting for life just to slide into, you know, sweeping melodies or rap lyrics all the time, everywhere you go? Every chance I get, I'm rapping and rhyming. <laughs> Every chance, every chance I hear music in the air. People no. must come up to you and sing the songs. They do, I, 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 and I love that most of the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I, I actually, the best part about it is that so many children know every single word of this. Sure. So they, they come, it's, there's always, it's always show and tell when you meet different kids. And, and I actually put them on my Instagram when I can because I think it's, it's actually good for you. Like how many, how often do you memorize something that actually is relevant mm -hmm. and it's something that you want your children to have memorized? That doesn't mm -hmm. happen very often, so that makes me happy. Um, now, uh, so now you're, you are Henrietta Lacks yeah. in The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And um, it was a book, I believe it came out, it was 2008 the book came out. Um, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a brilliant story of an extraordinary woman's life and how it has changed all of our lives. Can you explain to the people out there who Henrietta Lacks uh, is, other than her contribution to science? Absolutely, um, and it's important to know. It's, an, it's like Hamilton, it's another story that no one knows, and it impacts us all. Henrietta Lacks was an African-American woman who died in 1951 of cervical cancer, but most importantly, she was a woman that loved to paint her nails, she was a woman that loved to dance, she was a woman that was a mother with five children, and somebody, uh, they biopsied her, they took her cell, and um, it was the first cell that was able to live outside of the body, so um, it is responsible for the polio vaccine, the HIV cocktail, everything we know about cells, our, 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 what we've learned about DNA, it's maybe will save us from the Zika virus at some point. There's it's so many cells when they're normally when they're harvested from someone and they're trying to propagate it in sort of, so, of a solution or a petri dish for lack of a better word, they die out they after die out. they reproduce a few times, but Henrietta Lacks cells just keep going to this day. Absolutely, which is why we call them immortal. And uh, the crazy thing is that her family was not aware uh, that this happened until they came back to their home to do more research on them. There was, it, it brings up issues of consent. It brings up issues of, you know, the ethics of, of basically donor, donors anyway with, with any, any kind of tissue. It's, it's really unbelievable, the story, but the most beautiful thing about it is how a cancer cell could save the world <laughs> and, and, and really the search of the the children to find out who their mother was. If you can imagine how crazy it would be if your mother died when you were so young, and yet you know somehow that she's everywhere, but you don't know anything about her. That is an extraordinary thing, is that uh, she, she's not just uh, like remembered by her family and uh, the contribution that the research on her cells have given to medicine, but she is still being propagated. These cells are still being propagated around the world. So she is all around us. She is all around us. Did you feel everywhere. that when you were making the movie? I absolutely did. Anytime anything would happen. Oprah Winfrey is in this movie, and she herself would always say, oh, there's Henrietta. If it was raining hard, if it was crazy, we would always think that she was there. It felt as though it was time for the story to be told. And so I just, I felt her presence all the time. It was really, really beautiful. It gave me the courage to play her. Well, uh, we have a, a clip right here. Um, I think this is when you're telling uh, your friends back in 1951 that you have cancer mm -hmm. and uh, explain to them what you hope for your own children. Mm -hmm. Jim? I got something inside of me. Henny, please don't tell me you have another baby with that man. Oh, Gladys. What kind of thing? 
chance. And you know... You gotta promise me. Make sure nothing bad happened to my children. Especially my baby girl. I wanna braid her hair. Dress her up real pretty. Teach her how to paint her nails and handle men. I have to tell you. Thank you. I, I, I don't think that I had, um, I think I saw a cut of the movie for the first time on an editor's bay like a, really, a long time ago. So the first time I really saw the movie was at the premiere last night. And I was so embarrassed because I was weeping so hard. Not at my own performance. I was weeping watching um, Oprah's performance. I was weeping watching Rose Byrne's performance. I was weeping watching all of, um, I felt like all of my children in this movie. And uh, I just, had to run out of the room and hide in the bathroom because I think it's a little obnoxious if, a, if someone's premiere is over and like, they walk out like, oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> so um, it was a bit embarrassing, but it's a, such a beautiful film and I'm so excited that it's in the world. Well, congratulations and thank you so much thank for being here. So it was much. lovely to meet you. <laughs> the Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks premieres tomorrow on HBO. Lene Lee's Goldsberry, everybody. We'll be right back with Moshe Kasher.